This is a video for how to go about creating and rendering a motion study in Fusion 360. Um, you will notice that in a previous video, I created something known as motion links between different joints that we had placed within Fusion. So I can come up to all of my joints and I can right click on crankshaft and go to animate model and the entire model will start animating. And you'll notice that I have rotary motion here. I have some vertical motion going on for my slider constraints. And I also have some more rotary motion going on from these arms and from these picture caps I put on top of these followers. That's where I linked the motion to the crankshaft. So the crankshaft is what runs everything. So everything is linked back to the crankshaft. So in a previous video, I went over that. What we're going to do is we're going to do a study of the motion and kind of do a little bit of an animated rendering of the actual motion of the box. So you can go up to Assemble. And you go down to motion study and you're going to see this brand new chart you kind of have you know this you know x-axis on the bottom and this is like playing through a video and the 0 through 100 are steps and what we want to do is we want to choose a joint to do a motion study of so i'm going to choose the crankshaft to do a motion study of and if i come in here and i click anywhere along this line you're going to see something that shows up that says angle and then step and what it's going to say is that you know your rotation angle for that crankshaft is going to start at a certain point at step one in this case theoretically speaking you could put in a hundred steps i won't do that for the sake of time in the video we're just gonna do a little 45 degree increments you know every so often so i'm going to say you know for step one i want my angle to be zero so I'm going to have 0 and 1, and you can see it automatically kind of shift in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and say Enter. And I'm going to click along the line again. And right there when I clicked, it went to step 9. You know, we did 0. So I'm going to go to 45, and we're just going to say that's going to be on step 10. I'm just going to do, you know, increments of 10 along the axis, and I'm going to say Enter. I'm going to go along here again, and I'm going to find, you know, now we're going to be at 90 degrees on step 20. So I'm just hitting Tab and going down to 20 hitting enter, come along here, I'm going to say angle 135, you can probably pick up what I'm laying down, I'll put in 30, I'm just going to come right along here, I'm going to go 180, step 40, 225, 50, 270, 60, 315, 70, we'll go 360, 80, I'm going to go 405, 90, and we'll go 450, 100. So I'm going to hit enter, and I kind of have this little, you know, you can see the increments as they go, kind of if you're going to do an X and Y, you know, comparison, you know, for every increment of 10 on the, you know, X axis, it goes up 45 on the Y axis. Now I can go ahead and click, go back to the beginning with this and I can click play and we can see it actually go. I'm going to go back to the beginning, hit play, and we can see it go all along those axis lines. Now, if I put in, again, for the sake of the video, I didn't go through 100 steps. I would take forever. But if I did 100 increments, it would be a lot more involved with angles and things. This goes pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? We did our motion study, and I'm going to say OK. Now, when I go to design and I go to render now, within the box, when I go to render, I can say that, you know, I want a video render of this. And it gives me one cloud credit. I can do all different types of custom things in here with a square with a cloud render. I have a video. But I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what, we're going to render this. So I'm going to click render. And down here in the bottom, it's going to go ahead and start processing that. Now, I've already done this once before. So when I went in and did that rendering, I should see a video thing up here at the top. And it's, it's, you know, it's rendering a different type of version. So when you go in, I should see a rendering. So when I hit play for this one, you're actually going to see that thing turn. We went in and did a motion study, and now it's allowing us to actually see that move. Now there's a turntable rendering you can do that just takes the box and rotates it 360 degrees in an isometric kind of view. I'm going to go ahead and say pause, and I'm going to go to download, and it says download motion study as video, and I'm going to click on that. 
and it's going to say preparing your file for download. It's going to go ahead and create a quick video for you. And then you can place that wherever you want. I'll just place that on my desktop, my computer real quick. Um, I'm going to, it's going to open up uh, my, my Windows Explorer here. I'm going to bring that up on the screen. So here we go. We got motion link video study. You can drag that over. It might be a little bit more choppy than you want because we're not, if you have an educational version like I do, it's not going to be too, you know, as clear as you want. You're not going to have the highest quality or graphics that you want. If you had a paid version, it would be a little bit better. But this is how we can actually see a rendering of our motion. Now, if you do the motion links, like I showed in a previous video, it allows you to actually demonstrate to somebody exactly what the box is without having to open up Fusion or anything. It's a pretty neat thing to have. So, again, back in the design interface, there's all these different things you can do with motion links and, you know, actually showing that mechanical motion between parts and how parts move. It's a pretty neat aspect of Fusion 360. So if I really wanted to go in, you know, and turn, you know, the side of my box on, I can come back over here into my automata box. You know, maybe you want to do a rendering where you have certain things on or off. I turned mine off so we can see the rotation of those cams. I always think it's good to actually see that. You might want to make your box even, let's say, out of glass. And you can kind of see those things rotate. A lot of neat things you can do from a mechanical modeling standpoint in Fusion 360. So this has been a video for how to go about creating a motion study between the joints that you've created in Fusion and also how to go about rendering that study and downloading it as a video.